Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Tom Messner. All right, Tom, I know you're looking for a house. It costs $389,000 <laughs> for that doomsday bunker, if you're interested. It seems like a bit of a fixer up or two, you know, some of the holes and stuff in it could use some work, it seems. Yeah, yeah some of those windows, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not sure they were supposed to be windows, but they are now. So, hey, what are you going to do? All right, guys, we've got some rain on the way. Not so much over the next few hours. Toward dawn tomorrow morning, yes, and especially tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night. We're in the 50s at a lot of spots. Most of northern Vermont, most of northern New York. St. Albans is at 60, 63 degrees right now in Burlington. Meanwhile, still some 70s on the map. Look at Keene at 70. Wilmington right now is at 72. So temperatures, low 60s, that should about do it. Maybe upper 50s tonight. And note that in the Champlain Valley, we're pretty dry until first thing tomorrow morning. And then we start to get into soup. So not hard to see that to the west, we've got thicker clouds. Those thicker clouds are coming our way. We're keeping an eye on some of these storms where we've got severe thunderstorm warnings in effect right now, right along the southern tier of New York. And our forecast is to bring this in first thing tomorrow morning. If you're up early, 4.30, 5 o'clock, you're going to hear rumbles, central Vermont, southern Vermont. You'll see that on Futurecast in just a minute. So this system affects our weather tomorrow, and so does ELSA. They're going to kind of work together, kind of come together during the day tomorrow and then drop a bunch of rain in our backyards. Well, here's the latest on Tropical Storm Elsa. Winds right now 45 sustained north-northeast movement at 14 miles an hour. It's over southern Georgia here. This thing expected to continue dropping a bunch of rain out there. Parts of Georgia, easily six inches of rain. Then you get into the Carolinas, the Delmarva, up into southern New England. And if you take a look at the track here, it's going to be close enough to us to affect us. And that's why we think some of us will end up with, count them, more than two inches of rain by the time we get through tomorrow and then Friday as well up till 5 o'clock. Isolated areas perhaps even more than that. So flash flooding not out of the question. Larger rivers and big streams, I don't think we're going to have an issue, but some of the strong, uh, smaller streams and rivers, we may find a little bit of flooding. We need to watch that for you tomorrow and also into Friday. So we've got the chance for rain showers during the morning tomorrow and then a steadier rain into the afternoon. And that's why we are going to call it an impact day. Oh, here's that storm I was talking about as we look at Futurecast. Watch this. We'll jump you to 430. Maybe you're up early watching Caitlin do the weather. First thing tomorrow morning, look at the showers and thunderstorms that we're expecting, maybe clipping Burlington. And then these blow through. So that chance for showers and thunderstorms certainly in the forecast first thing tomorrow morning and then things really ramping up later in the afternoon and toward the evening. That's six o'clock heavy rain into the evening time and perhaps even beyond that for a ways. And then on Friday, we still have rain showers around. Looks like the setup is the farther east you are, the wetter it continues to be on Friday as Elsa moves out. So we've got a lot of stuff to watch. Showers and storms late tonight toward dawn tomorrow morning. So upper 50s, low 60s for low temperatures. Tomorrow, showers in the morning, maybe some thunderstorms. Mention that. And then a steady rain by later in the day. Temperatures 70s, but low 70s. And I think for a lot of us, actually just upper 60s. 69 will do it. It's going to be wet tomorrow into tomorrow night. Still rain showers on Friday, 74. The weekend is looking dry at this point. Not perfectly sunny. Low 80s for highs into Monday, then next Tuesday and into the following weekend, it looks pretty wet. 